One night, little Amy was having her bath with Theobald the Duck and Jerome the Giraffe, and Thomas the Tap and Peter the Plug in that scary old drain with its gurgle and glum. Dad was about to rinse off the shampoo when Amy said, Dad, guess what I can do? I can hold my breath underwater, like you. My, what a clever young daughter to be able to hold her breath underwater. This is a marvel. This I must see. Ready? On your marks. Get set. One, two, three. Amy drew a deep breath and pinched on her nose. Then she tipped back her head and screwed her eyes closed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At nine, she surfaced gasping for air, but... What was this? Her dad was not there. Daddy? She wheezed. Are you out in the hall? But there was no sign of him, nothing at all. Why would he run out and miss her big plunge? That's when she saw it, a wet yellow sponge. How could a whole dad disappear in one go? No average girl could solve this one, no. For this, she would need Cape Town's most clever youth, Detective A. Stemmet, the junior sleuth. She enlisted Ted Tedson, her brightest recruit, a crackerjack shot and a great guy to boot. Now, the first thing to do, Ted, is survey the scene. She said to her deputy, who was still quite green. The sponge is still warm. You can't have gone far. In fact, there's a thought. We should start with his car. She opened the door to the garage. Inside was Carlos the Cruiser, her dad's trusty ride. Carlos. What have you got to say? You last saw him at 1800 today? Was he accosted by someone? Then who? Let's go to his study. Perhaps there's a clue. I know, Ted. I know. It's another dead end. But wait, we can ask the computer. Our friend. When you're stuck without answers and you're left in the lurch, you can always just do a quick internet search. Oh. She whispered to Ted and went off to the bedroom to look in Dad's bed. Where's my daddy? Where'd he go? She asked the TV. But the TV wouldn't say, maybe it didn't know. If we press the right buttons, we'll get you to squeal. Where is Daddy? He's in the kitchen! There was no sign of Daddy, but against the north wall, Freddy the fridge loomed, forbidding and tall. Here's a cool customer, Ted. Amy muttered, but Freddy the fridge only clattered and spluttered. Inside, they discovered a half-eaten curry. Amy turned in despair, eyebrows furrowed in worry. Let's look at the facts, Ted. He can't have gone far. And the door to the basement is standing ajar. That old boiler can test one's nerves, I'll admit. But just stick by me. I'm not scared. Not one bit. You pile of little junk. You crunchy thing. What do you know about my dad's vanishing? I know he came down here, so don't try to fib. The boiler regarded her ghoulish glim. The hissing began and the shuddering shaking. Next to her, Amy felt Ted Tedson quaking. Stand your ground, deputy. She said. It's all a big con. Turns on. Just then she realized Deputy, she, she cried. There is one more place that my father could be. We've been so blind. All the pieces were there. She grabbed Ted by the arm and ran back up the stair. Daddy! She cried. I thought it was you. Of course, said he. If not me, then you. I'm sorry I left you alone for a bit. I developed the most pressing need for a <laughs> 